cancer is a disease in which cells in the body grow out of control. When cancer starts in the liver, it is called liver cancer, or in medical terms, hepatocellular carcinoma. Every year in the United States, about 25,000 men and 10,000 women get liver cancer. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly what causes liver cancer and what are the risks that increases your chance of getting it. Welcome to another episode of Dr. Says. First up, what is a liver? The liver is an essential organ located in the upper right side of our abdomen, behind the lower ribs. The liver does many jobs, including storing nutrients, removing waste products from the blood, filtering and processing chemicals in food, alcohol, and medications, and lastly, producing bile, a solution that helps digest fats and eliminates waste products. It was estimated that the majority of liver cancer cases, up to 70%, occur in Asia. Sorry Asians, this is probably due to the risk of exposure to hepatitis viruses and environmental pathogens, which I'll cover later. However, those in Western countries do not start celebrating because there is growing evidence of increasing liver cancer due to other factors like obesity, which is more rampant in Western countries than in Asia. There are many risk factors for developing hepatocellular carcinoma, and the common characteristics is that it always involves injury to the liver cells, long-term causing liver cirrhosis, which is scarring of the liver after an injury. Patients with liver cirrhosis are at risk of developing hepatocellular carcinoma, and it was estimated that up to one-third of patients with cirrhosis will eventually develop hepatocellular carcinoma during their lifetime. And what is the most common cause of liver cirrhosis? Chronic hepatitis B and C infection. Just like HIV virus, hepatitis B and C is spread from person to person through direct contact with bodily fluids of an infected person, such as their blood or semen. It may also be passed from mother to child during childbirth. The risk is higher if the viral load, which is the number of copies of virus in the body, is higher. Therefore, patients with active hepatitis B or C virus should be treated accordingly, and those with chronic infection are advised to have yearly blood tests and ultrasound of the liver to monitor for development for liver cancer. Another common risk is environmental toxins, more specifically, aflatoxins. Aflatoxins are naturally occurring toxins that are produced by some strains of fungus, most notably Aspergillus flavors and Aspergillus parasiticus. These fungi can grow easily under the following conditions. Food kept under the condition of high humidity for long periods and food stored in places without adequate ventilation. Foods that are commonly exposed to aflatoxins contamination includes legumes and legumes products like groundnuts, pistachios and peanut butter, cereals and cereal products like corn, rice, wheat and soybean, and lastly, spices like chilies, black pepper, turmeric, or coriander. Here is a table from the FDA on the maximum amount of aflatoxins permitted in animal feeds and foods. And don't be surprised that milk is one of the common products that is being monitored. In certain parts of Asia, where betel nut chewing is the culture, case reports have shown it may increase the risk of liver cancer as well. Next, the number one enemy of all cancers, alcohol and tobacco. If you don't know already, alcohol consumed in large amounts is toxic to the liver. Repetitive injury to the liver by alcohol will increase the chances of cirrhosis and hence liver cancer. Not to mention, alcohol and tobacco itself also increases the risk of other types of cancer such as the esophagus and stomach cancer. And finally, one of the upcoming and leading causes of liver cancer in Western countries non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. As the name suggests, it is not related to alcohol, but related to the deposition of fat in your liver, hence the name fatty liver. The idea is still the same. Fatty deposition causing injury, injury causing scarring, scarring causing cirrhosis, and finally cancer. And what causes fatty liver? Diabetes and obesity. Do note, diabetes by itself can increase the risk of having liver cancer, by 2.2 fold. Other less common risk factor for liver cancer would be rare hereditary conditions such as hereditary hemochromatosis, 
a condition in which there is deposition of iron in the liver, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, and acute intermittent porphyria. So there we have it guys. So now that you know what are the risks of developing liver cancer, do you want to know what are the common signs and symptoms of liver cancer? Click on the link to find out now.